Lancashire's Laurie Maher Cup campaign has ended for another year with a five-point loss to Warwickshire in Manchester. But there were positives for former Wexford player Greg Jacob. We're coming to the end of the campaign now. We've had two losses now. This game not really uh, having much of an effect for ourselves because we're relying on results to, to go our way. But we still wanted to kind of make a good account of ourselves, Zach, and I think we did that today because obviously we're up to a very strong team like, and they've gone unbeaten now through the campaign. Like So I think we've come out on a, a really respectable side. Like, you know, we gave in our best like this campaign. Like, and it wasn't good enough, like, but then we have things to work on as well. Like, you know. We've run the strongest team in the, ca in the campaign to the closest result that they've had. Um, we're within five points. I don't think anyone else has come within single figures. Um, I think uh, our backs kind of, um, as a unit, uh, hurled well. Uh, the communication was good. Um, probably where maybe went down, like it's maybe our lack of uh, scoring opportunities that we missed quite a few wides. I think like which would have given us a kind of a, a closer game. And then when a game was within two or three points. You know, a goal can change everything. Like so, I think maybe our shooting and uh, probably let us down today, like on, on today's performance. We hurled well. We hurled better than we have done in the last couple of matches, and I suppose it's not today that causes the problems. There were a couple of matches that we should have got over the line, and and we didn't, unfortunately, and that's what's really hurt us today. Uh, Lancashire, I suppose. Look at will. Uh, Diagnose what the campaign has been like. I think there's been a lot of positives uh, in our squad. Um, we've a few new players in, uh, some more for as well, uh, and that kind of combination between all the news like has worked well for us. And if we can keep a squad together, I think next year we can be very competitive and if not go all the way. The future is very bright for Lancashire hurling. You know, I mean, we've got a fantastic facility here. The pitch is in absolutely fantastic condition. We've got the bedrock now of a, you know, the foundations of a very, very, very good team. So if we can keep that group together and build on it, then over the next couple of years, I think the future is bright for Lancashire.